Hey guys, Talix J Engineering. Uh, today's video, we're looking at this guy here. Even if he is burned out or spoiled, don't just keep it up. Uh, if you look, watch this video from beginning to the end using this gum, uh, including the scissor plus the carpet, you will have it clear, okay? So I just beg you to keep on, don't go off easily. Uh, we fix this bonnet guy here when i raise it up you will see that this foam under the bonnet is really burnt you know this engine gives up too much heat here yeah the pump is okay it's pumping up and it's doing its work cool <clears throat> turning on the next year we well, got to have how to do it okay so when you look at it it is really bad have enough light there mm. but I actually you can see okay let me turn it over boom and now when you look at it after putting in light look at how funny it is okay the car is very expensive nice car Benz yeah, cross country but uh, the bonnet is not so nice so let's go and fix it uh, you got to measure how to cut your carpet uh, when you cut it like that it won't fit uh when you put it like this it will fit okay but you then have to trim that's why i was like you only need a gum a scissor to do this work you don't need any thing like uh uh maybe a spanner or a wheel what no 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 pipe wrench you are no this is enough so now wh when you're looking at it you've got to have uh, a scissor and it's already trimming uh, what i'm um, trimming off is going to fall off we no longer need that, need that one. Bye bye. Then we'll go to remain with this one. Okay. Um, then I'll clean off all these foam parts. Yeah, they are not good. Then we fit it in. So down here it's done uh, at a terrible speed. But good enough, we are still together. Let me reduce on this speed and you see how to do it. Because I want you to learn. Okay. So the speed I'm using is not a uh, speed that you can learn from okay but i want you to learn because if you're working at this specifically this type of the vehicle it will have these two bars in okay now off speed now uh when you look at it you got to trim so now i'm going to trim here to make sure that these two bars come up because when i just press on the carpet the carpet will remain hanging and uh, if it creates something like a balloon, then the heat will go in and create pressure. So we find that the carpet is peeling off. Okay, but uh, when you cut through in between here where I'm cutting, and you hide that carpet below under, you'll have made a perfect thing, which we need. Okay, uh, when you look at it, you have to cut as you observe where is it ending, like so. Then after ending it, you enter it under. So what I what I'm doing up here is what was done down. So don't think how it came up. That is it. Just as simple like that. Then after fitting it, don't remove because when you remove and put the gum, the gum is so powerful. It will hold the carpet and the carpet will get destroyed. So after after placing it all the way you want it, you just raise a little bit put the gum put in that one that's why i'm fixing it like that is the end however it is not in the end now let me run off camera here and bring in the next part so that's it there and then let's speed up the other side because what i've done here over that one of a one that metal is what will be done on the other second because this is a Benz and the Benz is always they have reinforcements that's why you always you actually you can even hit a Benz and it fails to bend any because of these hard metals that are put in and it is even heavy because of the materials used and the type of things used okay so now when you look at uh, the
So whenever you're doing it, you have to emphasize. You have to ensure that you don't live in that kind of balloon. You see, I'm trying to press here to remove that balloon type thing, and it uh, lies. Okay. Now, with speed, that's it. I can even just count from one to three. It is already done. Okay. You see, one to three. You see, one to three. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. So. Let's go ahead and then put on. That's it. After replacing, then I'm going to raise it off and put in the gum. So this is the gum I was talking about, and uh, when you look at it, you will find that there is uh, nothing much here. But you put the gum and wait it to dry. Okay? If you press, it will not really uniform bond. Okay? So here, my gum is fine. You can even touch and feel that the gum is really dry but you apply both sides the metal side and the carpet side so that it bonds uniformly then press it there gently because if you poorly replace it will it will create a poor image and that is what we don't want then don't mind of the touches like this one here i it was very long but uh, yeah it will come out then since the bonnet also has some depressions endeavor to make it the way it is okay where there is a depression create it also don't just put it random okay that's bad then because you live you live in some spaces which we don't want so uh, when you put it like that way okay you see i'm even emphasizing i'm even focusing more on it so make it right the way it should be you can here you can use the wood here if you don't have enough power in your energy in your hand sorry in your hand you can use a, a wood here but uh, always i will cut the materials and uh, tools short so that's why i came in like so with my hand another option you can go by gloves here because this carpet is rough so it may damage you okay yeah, so you didn't see how we apply this glue gum, uh, and uh, you have to know how it is applied. So I'm going to show you to you how it is applied. Okay. So I'm going to leave that one to dry, and I apply more here. Yeah, see. So I'm going to apply the gum here. That's how it is applied. You spread the gum and let it dry. So when I turn back, I'll find it dry. Yeah, cool. Now it is dry, okay? Actually, even if when you open it, you can see it is dry the way it was the other side. So uh, sometimes these parts come in different orders, depending on how the camera was set. That's why I always emphasize you watch the video from beginning to end, because if someone has already ended this video before this part, he was not going to know how the gum is applied and why it is done like so okay so this is it now uh, you can see if it is dry you will see actually i'm going to even raise this one here you see when i remove the scissor you can see it is surely dry okay so since it is dry let me force it down okay uh actually the tire lever here this is a lever the tire levers, yeah. So the tire levers there. They didn't go get the gum, so I have placed it, and I will leave it to dry as I operate the other sides of the carpet. Okay. So below the lever, you don't need to put the gum there because, or even if the carpet is falling off, it will lean against the lever, or it will lie upon the lever. So. You don't need to put the gum there and if you put the gum there you, you you it will get hard to enter because you have to force it just i think you saw me forcing it somewhere already so you don't need to put the gum there put the gum in where you don't have space because you can see how you're fixing it there just by force so if there was a gum it was going to stuck forged like that which we don't want okay yeah so now next we have uh, Uh, 
sekali. Yeah, beautiful like that. So, I think those are the steps. So, uh, even if I speed up here just because I want you to see that uh, the work was done properly. And it ended, okay? So, I'm going to speed up here and we'll finish it. So, please. And uh, another thing that I want to talk about here as the work is ongoing is please endeavor to know the points that where you are stepping. Or, you can remove the... This bonnet and work on it when on ground. Okay, yeah, that's it. We'll keep this color fine when you always mind of what I've done inside here. So what has been done inside there will usually protect that heat from this engine because this engine here has heat. So when it heats up, that heat is now reduced by the art layer of affect the color top okay so if you don't mind of this top color you will really lose it and you will go for this panel beating but if you mind the, the original color then you got to put this whenever it gets old uh, because there is too much heat here uh, but uh, the one which was used was a poor quality you can see it was even falling in because this is foam but uh, this is a not foam, this is leather, uh, leather material formed with a uh, heat reducing elements. Okay, so when you put it like that, uh, really you'll find that you machine and uh, the color on the bonnet is losing effectively. So that's it, and then let this guy enjoy the ride. Uh, I'll come in next and show you what has been what is taking place. Uh, I'm sure this guy is going to run tomorrow. Thank you.